<laughs> we are lucky to have two very interesting and informative people who will give you a lot of details about this particular program. Tell us about JET. What is JET? Sure. So JET is the Japan Exchange and Teaching Program. It's a program that's run by the government of Japan. Several ministries in Japan operate it and essentially bring over thousands of people from all over the world every single year to work and live in Japan, you know, teaching English in local communities as well as creating grassroots like internationalization and really connecting with the local people and creating friendships all across the world. I see. Before we delve into your experience, tell us about from the side of the embassy, when did you start this? Okay. When did this start, this program? Oh, it, it has a 30 years history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so since 1987. We, the program is 30 years old. We just celebrated our 30th anniversary this summer. So it's been going since 1987, and 66,000 people have participated on it since then. And how has it changed through the years? How did it begin when it, you had the the concept and how did it grow and evolve? Well, I think the main idea behind it was to really encourage the friendship between the U.S. and Japan and several under countries. When it first began, it was just four countries, U.S., Australia, I think the U.K., and, yeah, and maybe New Zealand as well. So those four countries maybe started off the program. And then it's grown into over 44 different countries now participating on the program. So like we're the JET program USA, so we hire U.S. citizens to join us over in Japan, and then other countries will hire other citizens. Is this also happening in the other states of the nation? It is, yeah. So there are a bunch of uh, like Sakura Matsuri and Cherry Blossom festivals all across. And then there are JET coordinators at each of the consulates of Japan throughout the U.S. So there are 19 consulates of Japan in the U.S. and we have a JET coordinator at each of them. So they go out to all the different states in their area and talk about the JET program and recruit people to go and come over to Japan. Tell us about the requirements. A bachelor's degree? Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so you have to have a bachelor's degree, and for the JET program USA, you also have to have US citizenship, or um, and then you can have the bachelor's degree in any field whatsoever, because we don't just want like one type of American heading over to Japan, we want people of all sorts of knowledges and backgrounds to go over. So. And, and you don't have to uh, know about the Japanese language. Yeah. So. What about the age requirement? There is no age limit, so people can go over to Japan. We do get a lot of people who are like just graduating from college because the only requirement is a bachelor's degree. So it's a pretty like easy requirement for the JET program. Um, we don't require like any specific work experience besides that bachelor's degree. And so we do get a lot of people who are trying JET out as their first entry level job in like the real world. And it's an excellent entry level step because it gives you that intercultural and cross cultural communication experience as well as the chance to live abroad, work abroad, and really meet so many amazing people. And then of course travel all around. Asia and yeah, we have so many great experiences. Yes. Yeah. Well, what about the uh, you said to have graduated from the university from any university in the world? I see. Uh -huh. As long as you have a bachelor's. Degree. Tell us about the interview process. The interview process. Sure, sure. So um, the application process is a bit long. It starts in September each fall, and then people will submit their applications by typically around November of that year. And then we get about 4,000 applications in the U.S. every single year, so we have to process all of those. Several of the people at this booth have processed before going through applications, making sure everyone has the documents in order and that they're not missing any transcripts or anything like that. Uh, so then after that, we send them those applications to our reviewers and they look over the applications, decide on who's going to pass to the interview stage and then from the interview stage we invite everyone to join us at the consulates and embassies of Japan around the U.S. If you're invited to an interview you'll come in for about 20 minutes, talk with the interview panel. Usually there'll be someone from the embassy or government of Japan on the panel as well as former JET alumni as well as those in the local community who are invested in U.S.-Japan relations.